Merry Christmas everyone. Uh, I hope you're all having a good holiday season. Uh, for the last oh, 10 or 12 years or so, I've normally made a hunting DVD. And during Christmas, I get a lot of emails and phone calls from people that have told me that they look forward to watching uh, one of my DVDs Christmas morning. Well, this year, seeing I never made a DVD, I've decided to add to my YouTube channel uh, never seen before footage of the biggest moose I've ever killed with a bone arrow. And also show the footage of uh, when I went and got the mount. After I got the moose, I had my moose mounted by a, a taxidermist. His name is Rodney Fudge. I never met him before, and uh, he never sent me any pictures of Bob. Uh, just little bits and pieces of the mount, but he never sent me the picture of the full mount. So, as you'll see, it was a pretty special moment for both of us. He wasn't sure if I was going to like it, and I wasn't sure how how good a job he was actually going to do for me. So, I think you'll like the video, so uh, let's take a look. Okay, now before my hunt starts, I want to show you some uh, great footage Daniel Sacre and Dennis Quigley got of this moose that I'm after two days before I went after him. Dennis had a tag and uh, he just decided to pass on him because he was looking for a bigger bull that he thought might be in the area. And besides, Dennis had several other awesome bulls under his belt from years gone by that was much bigger than the, the bull I was after. So uh, I guess thanks to Dennis and uh, Merry Christmas again to everyone and sit back and enjoy the rest of the hunt. As you can see uh, the boys never got footage of just one but uh, three, three great bulls together. There's two here now and uh, the third one shows up here and uh, he's a little bit smaller but still a real nice bull. As usual, early in the season, the, the bulls are always together. They're friends now, but <laughs> in a couple weeks time, they won't be. All right, hello everybody. As you can see, I'm bow hunting. Me and Daniel, uh, we just seen a 21, 22 point bull. You got three or four other bulls with him. We're not gonna be real easy. We're just gonna make a loop and see if we can get close enough and see if I impress with it or not. I'm not sure if I'm gonna shoot him, so he's all velvet. If he was all hanging, I probably wouldn't. But the uh, moves in closer and get a better look. I'll make up my mind yet. So come along with us. Okay, this plan that we had in mind, uh, we had no clue if it was going to work. We didn't see the, the moose bed down. We just lost sight of them. But given it was around, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock, we just kind of guessed that, well, maybe soon it was going to bed down. So we decided to just make a loop and to get downwind of them and come in around and just hope that we could, uh, we could find them again. What really happened here was I walked up the side of the hill and uh, just up to the right from this skitter trail. When I looked back down, sure enough, just ahead of us there now, over to this little bank, I can see the antlers of one. We couldn't call them, it was just too early in the season and they weren't making a sound, just that I figured that once we got close enough, even though it was way before the rut, 
once you get close enough you can usually uh, like challenge the challenge a bull and he'll kind of try and come and confront you sure enough when we got like maybe 66 five yards from almost here they come I actually think I could have shot him here but I wanted to get a better look at him and plus I wanted to make sure that it was a half decent video as well. The biggest one was in front and when we seen them walking up uh, the skitter trail that he's in right now we knew that this trail circled up on the back of us and we knew what his plan was to try to get downwind of us to smell us before he actually come in to confront us. We had a little bit of time to spare before that bull could actually smell us so we knew there was a couple more uh, bulls coming behind the big one. So we stuck around and just got some video of them as well before we raced back to get in position to try to get a shot at that big one. By the time we got back to where we uh, expected to see the bull, sure enough, here he was coming down the hill just, just like we expected. The wind was right in our face and was a little bit of mist falling and the water always was, and the mist would always be on the camera lens, so that's what you're seeing on the lens every now and then. If this bull kept coming away, he's coming. He had to come between me and just there to my right is a big cliff. Only like 20 yards of space between me and the cliff that <laughs> the moose had to come down uh, to get downwind of us. So I said, I'm gonna get a shot for sure. When I seen him coming so good, I just went to full draw because I was expecting him to step ahead in that little window uh, right there in front of him and have a perfect broadside shot. And trying to stay at full draw, I started to feel the pressure. I just about shot there but when I seen him kind of turn back toward me a little bit I was too scared that I might hit that shoulder blade so a bull like this wouldn't work taking the chance so I had to I had to release and let off on the string keep in mind now this bull is only like 10 or 12 yards away and when I see him turn to my left I said there's no way he's gonna try it and get downwind of us by going this direction because oh, there was so many so many openings that there was I was gonna get a shot for sure but he stopped again just short of the of an open that I would have had his shoulder wide open and I just waited forever for him to make a move and he just wouldn't step here that one more step so I can get a shot away I was expecting him to step here any second so I went at a full draw for the second time just waiting for him to step in and I hold the, my string there I, I hold it and I was just about gone my arms were so tired trying to keep this bullet full draw I know that my bullet got a pretty good let off uh, when I'm at full draw but still after a while <laughs> you start to feel the strain I thought for sure I blew my chance here he, uh, he heard me and uh, gave me a funny look. It 
it seemed like he wasn't sure which way he wanted to go, to my right or to my left. But when he made this last move and straightened up a little bit, I said, if he turns back this time, he got a little window open for me that I can shoot through and uh, be right, right into the boiler room. So I was just waiting now for him to turn back again so I can see his, uh, his broadside. There was no way it was going very far. The arrow went right where I wanted him to go. When we heard those sounds, <laughs> we knew it was over. He's down, Dion. That's how it's done! <laughs> I think he's 22 points, I think. What was that? What, 15 <coughs> yards? No, I say more like 10. Wicked! Well over. Woo! Thing went down. Did you get on camera falling down? Or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but I think he's, woods. he's toast. So, gonna go up and see how big he is. My biggest is 15 points. 15 points with the ball. So, yeah, with the ball, I mean. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah. He's out, I think. Make sure. Alright, here it goes. Oh, man, that's beautiful boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two there, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Haha. <laughs> oh, man, get too loud to know it. Yes, boy. Yeah. Beautiful. Wicket, wicket. What a beauty ball. Huh? This guy's wet. Boy, that's so nice. Isn't it, boy? Man. It's my first one ever in velvet. That I've ever killed in velvet. So, first one over 20 points. Sure. Yeah, I'm a little bit excited. I can't help it. <laughs> like I said before, if I lose that excitement, you would just want to give up hunting. Agree? I agree, 100 percent. He haven't got a big spread, but he's just a nice bull. And at 15 yards, all on video, I just I couldn't turn it down. So we'll arrange it after. I think it's more like 10. <laughs> Wait, me. Yeah, wicked. Well, we got ready to take some pictures with this beauty bull, and uh, then we had to head back to the bike back to the truck, have a lunch, and uh, head back in on Boyk to uh, try and bring this thing out. Okay, we're back to the truck. We got to try to get the bike into the moose. But before we do, we're going to have a quick lunch. The last time we shared lunch, was it? What was it? Pudding sandwich. Pudding sandwich, but they were moved up quite a bit. Uh, Mary, Brown, <laughs> Mary Brown's. Uh, so I got to share with you, of course, because he got nothing. Oh no! Just <laughs> look, look what just happened. Take a look at this. That's what I get for being nice. Look, tip mine over on the ground. But don't worry. Not be much left here for the Jays to eat. Time I'm finished. We're going to enjoy this as much as I can. And then we're going to go ahead in and bring out my moose. Any comments, dear? Hopefully we has no trouble. That's right. That's nice. the only thing I hope for. He is on a he is on a a can am, not a player today, so. Yeah, yeah. Not sure how that's gonna work out. But we'll see. We had to cut him in half, uh, so I can uh, save the fur for the mount I was gonna get done. And uh, 
it's too warm to try and do it in the woods there would be a lot of flies so we figured that if I can get out to the truck I can uh, do a much better job back home the whole process of getting the moose out of the woods is all part of the hunt as well it's not just pulling the trigger or releasing the arrow but the, the full experience of of uh, bringing the moose out and the, the lunch and the, the jokes the laughs you have uh, just makes it more exciting and better memories and uh, I'm sure this is one that uh, Daniel and I is going to uh, cherish and remember for a long time. It was a, was a great laugh. Great fun. Okay, hello everybody. Here I am on the highway. Heading to St. John's to uh, pick up my moose moon. Don't you just watched. Uh, I had a taxidermist mount to head for me. So it's going to be a shoulder mount on a pedestal. I've, I haven't seen the mount yet. I don't know what, what to expect. So uh, it's exciting. I can't wait to get there to get a look at it. So I've got a few hours and I'll be there. Can't wait. I'm in St. John's or CBS and I'm uh, going to drive up to uh, Rodney's house. I'd, I've never met him before. So I, <laughs> and I've, of course I've never seen the moose. He's got it done, so I gotta come in and uh, take a look at it. And uh, of course it's gonna be exciting to see it. I don't know what to expect. I don't know uh, what it's gonna turn out like. According to the, the few pictures that he did send me, they were beautiful, so here we are. Let's see how it goes, oh he's there. Oh my. I'm nervous. Hey! Good to meet you, buddy. You finally made it. Finally, finally. <laughs> oh, for nice the first to finally time. see you. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long process. Whew. Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, it's good. To uh, what? How many years ago I was talking to you? Two years Two ago? Two years. Yeah. That's for all you. you. You got your moose, and we finally got them put together for you. Now we just gotta. Now I gotta. You like it? Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it for sure. Okay. Okay. Come on. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! That's beautiful. Rodney. My son. Uh, beautiful animal. Oh, my gosh, that's wicked. <laughs> you got a beautiful moose. Just beautiful like I moose. want. I'm hanging like that. Yeah. Oh, you even got the legs. I didn't realize you got the legs on too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I said, look at those pedals you got on. Hundred percent custom. Everything. The whole moose was carved. Uh, none of it is commercial. It was all made in house. We really, we even, we cast his teeth, he has the tongue, everything is... No. Look, no, oh, look. No one around have seen that. Look in the, look in the mouth. Oh, man, oh, my <laughs> oh. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, but beautiful. Beautiful. That's, that's a, that's a moment in time. Oh, uh, like this, 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 what did it take? Maybe an hour? of time and 365 days a year where you yeah. would get a chance to see velvet, a moose yeah. in velvet I know. and strip it. And then it actually cuts the moment where it's stripping and the, and the antlers are bleeding. It's rare. Yeah. You'll never always, see it. Always, always wanted to get it. I felt. I've only got one video of a moose hanging really good of velvet. And uh, when I got this one, I said, and it was full of velvet. <laughs> I said, the tax nerves could do it. And so the velvet's hanging. Uh, we got it done. <laughs> I'm even shaking there. <laughs> I, I'm Wild glad. Because, <laughs> Dion, you haven't seen any pictures of it. I wouldn't show you pictures. <laughs> uh, that's, that's crazy. So, so you've trusted me to do it. And Boy, you done a good I, job. I, I meet your expectation. That's <laughs> wow, above, above Just walk around.
Look. Wow. Your backside. <laughs> the hoof. How these hoof prints. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I've never done it before. Never, never ever got the opportunity to do something like this before for anybody. Sure. And it's a 360 degree mount. The mount looks just as good from every side. Can't wait till Danny sees it, my brother. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everywhere you look at this mount, it shows. The mount shows. You can look right here, the mount shows. If you walk around, just walk around, like the mount shows from all sides. Yeah, it's just this, yeah. Everything is a show on this moose. Daniel Sacred. When Daniel sees this, that's not our This guy is going to film it for me. Yeah. I was going to blow his mind. You can see right in him. Huh? See, then you're looking at him here. Oh, I thought real Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's huge. It's beautiful, man. Can't believe it. Complete custom base. 100 year old barn wood. This wood is red and the wood was barn was built in 1916 and I personally stripped the wood off the barn in 2016. <laughs> 100 years later I, I took that barn apart from the day it was built and that's part of the part of the barn wood. Beautiful. Beautiful. No, the whole just, mount is I fully don't. detachable. This way. I show you this. <laughs> wow. Need it? Uh, everything is pinned. It all comes apart for shipping. And just, just go back on, put it in place, line it up, slip it together. The trees, the same thing. Say I'll come off. Be careful. <laughs> and they go down both sides. The moose itself is pinned in through the chest. He lifts straight up. So that's what I'm saying. I'm lost for you have a mount of a lifetime. Oh, I'd say, yeah, I think so. It's once in a lifetime for me. I, I would assume. I didn't know. I've never had the opportunity to do this, and thank you. Oh, thank you very much, man. This is nuts. I'm gonna get a lot of people want to see this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Moose has made my shop busy. Right from the start, started when we started carving this form. I never think, I never did think I would ever get uh, a moose mount done. Like, just and I didn't, and I I've seen so many of them, and I didn't uh, think that they'd do the moose justice. Like, no, it they doesn't. looked skinnier, and they looked I don't know, just didn't look nice. <laughs> I, I always, I, so I always felt. Man, wow, that looks like it's real. <laughs> That's crazy. That's true. I just uh... we take a lot of pride in our mounts. Boy, so in each and every gosh. one, I guess you can see. At least let me look in the mouth of that beer. It's a full, complete, right on down the throat. Nuts. No, I don't know. I don't want to do. <laughs> it's just beautiful, man. I can't believe it. Did you notice? He's got grass in his mouth and chewed his up leaves. His mouth is wet. Yeah, and it's full of grass, full of chewed up spruce powder. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've never seen him with a, a clean mouth. No. <laughs> My son, I'm gonna cry. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, that's awesome. That's the reaction I was looking for.